Hey guys, I'm Layla. Today we're going to be playing some Warcraft for Rumble. And so we see here is it's another Arclight event. So this one happens to be Undead Horde. And the reason why I am playing this one is if you didn't know, if you end up having one of these Arclight events that's conditional based on family groups, exactly what it says here is your army is going to be replaced with troops from the Undead and the Horde families. So let's play. So basically like what I did was I grabbed a Sylvanas deck. So my leader is going to be undead. And then what the game will do is the game's going to filter in other undead and horde minis for me, which I think makes sense because now I think about like my Sylvanas deck isn't just undead and horde. So that's another way at least you guys can play Arclight, right? You can do these Arclight events. You can get yourself some gold. You can help out your guild and not have to worry. So guys, <coughs> I'm sorry, I was actually just about to say, if you've been watching and hanging out with me, you know that I've been, I've been sick for a little bit, so I am feeling better. I just, you know, every now and then I still have a cough, so my voice sounds a little crackly, that's what's going on. Oh, look at that, so we actually, we're gonna have like, how many leaders are we gonna have in here? So we have Baron Rivendare, and then we also have, we got Gromash over here, so I guess let's, let's drop our leaders down. I brought my baddie, my little baddie baddie here, because I know we'd want to do some AoE here. Ooh, we do need, speaking of, my ogre, my ogre mage hopefully should be able to deal with the bat, because we need some, yeah, there we go. I was going to say, we ended up needing um, some aerial there. All right, here we go. Let's put a, we're going to drop some skellies down. Love that. And, you know, we actually might want to try working on taking this. Let's draw Baron down again. I'm going to put another bat with Baron. Looks like we are trying to take the right side. We're also going to try the left side, too. Executes a lot of, like, that's a really, really good spell there, too. I need, there we go. I was going to say, I do need some aerial. There we go. Perfect. So we were able to grab, we grabbed this space. We grabbed this space as well too. So we actually have both bases. A really, really good spot. I do see an elemental there. So we're going to want to deal with that Ellie. <clears throat> and let's drop down, let's drop down a mini. It looks like I actually have to change it. This is like, oh, you know what it did? I actually have the Murloc skin from BlizzCon on my miner. But it looks like it changed it on me just because of the sake of uh, the event we're doing. All right, so we have a bunch of vultures. So what ends up happening is this vultures boss here is whenever he kills one of my my minis, he turns them into vultures is what's happening here. Okay. So playing against the vulture. Ogre Mage is doing good. Let's drop down some more skellies. Yeah, we're doing a good job. So Rivendare also summons some skellies as well too. So we're going to clear the vulture dude in a minute. We're basically, we swarmed him here. So we're going to get him in a minute. I got my bat come. That's just floating around. Let's drop down some skellies. Put Grumosh on the left. Look at that. Like all those little skellies just kind of like wander around. Look at all those vultures. Isn't that great? It only has a smidge of health left. Look at all those vultures. There it is. And we cleared it. So guys, that is, that's another arc light event. This one happens to be Undead Horde. But yeah, you see, so if you don't end up having a deck that meets the conditions, the game basically just kind of gives you a random deck. Guys, thanks so much for watching. I'll see you in the next video.